HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Baseball on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call for this afternoon's game against the Millis Mohawks. Bob Hamilton is on camera. Millis set to come up to the plate. Let's take a look at the Millis lineup. Tyler Darty is the starting pitcher for the Hillers. For Millis, batting first, the shortstop, Stephen Melia. The second baseman, Peter Sanchione, batting second. Hayden Olmstead, the center fielder, batting third. Michael Giovanni, the left fielder, hitting cleanup. Thomas Hill, the DH, batting fifth. Brian Nichols, the first baseman, hitting sixth. Joseph Johnson, the right fielder, hitting seventh. Chris Edwards, the third baseman, hitting eighth. And Charlie Korask, the catcher, hitting ninth. As for the Hillers' defense, it's Tyler Doherty on the mound. Ronnie Sheamus behind the plate. Alex Barker hook at first base. Steve Simos at second base. Ben McKenzie the shortstop. Ryan Kester at third base. From left to right, Drew Rancatori, Tommy Ambrosoni, and Cam Jarrett for the Hopkinton Hillers as they are set to go against the Millis Mohawks. So stepping in is going to be Steven Milia, the shortstop for the Mohawks. And we are set to get underway. Temperatures in the low 50s as Tyler Doherty is set to deliver the first pitch. And it's a ball inside. A 1 and 0 oh count. And a pretty nice day for baseball. A few clouds in the sky. Temperatures in the Higher 50s, measuring in at about 57 as there's ball two. A two and oh count on Melia. Doherty is set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch. Inside for ball three. Millis two and three on the season. Hoping to get a win here against the Hillers. There's strike one, three and one is the count. Tyler Doherty has pitched pretty well in his starts this season. He got the win against Barnstable a couple weeks ago as this is up the middle to the shortstop. Picked up by McKenzie, throw to first, one down. Six to three for out number one. Peter Sanchione, the second baseman, will step up to the plate. Let's take a look at the TVL standings. The Hopkinton Hillers at the top of the TVL large with a six and two record. Medfield is five and two. Holliston two and three. Ashland three and three. Westwood two and two. Norwood zero oh and six. And we'll get you the TVL small in just a moment. A pitch down low to Peter Sanchione. And the TVL small, Bellingham five and one, Norton four and two, Dover Sherborne two and four, Medway two and two, Millis two and three, Dedham five and one. And there's a strike to Sanchione. Doherty working from the stretch. Set to deliver. Upstairs, two and one. We do have this game uh, on the YouTube stream. It seems to be working for the moment. <laughs> Hopefully that'll continue. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. Slow roller takes a couple hops on the grass. Picked up by the second baseman. Four to three for out number two. It'll bring up Hayden Olmstead, the center fielder. Larry Sacklatt at, at well recovering from a minor 
procedure he had. We certainly hope he's doing well. He's watching us right now on YouTube. Wind up in the pitch down low. One and oh count. Hiller's baseball, a good amount of action this week. You got Millis today. They'll be in Medfield Wednesday and Friday at home against Norwood. As this is it over to right field, ranging back is Simos, and he will make the catch to retire the side in the top half of the first to the bottom of the inning we go. You are tuned in to Hiller's baseball on HCAM. Just about set for the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers lineup. Starting things off is going to be the shortstop Ben McKenzie. The second baseman Steve Simos will bat second. Tommy Ambersoni, the center fielder, hitting third. Drew Rancatori, the left fielder, hitting cleanup. Connor Kelly, the DH, hitting fifth. Alex Barker Hook, the first baseman, hitting sixth. Cam Jarrett, the right fielder, hitting seventh. Ryan Kester, the third baseman, hitting eighth. Ronnie Sheamus behind the plate, batting ninth. For the Millis Mohawks, Ryan Flynn is the pitcher. Michael Giovanni is his battery mate. Hayden Olmstead over at first base. Your second bra baseman is Brian Nicholas. Shortstop is going to be Charlie Karask. And at third base for the Millis Mohawks, it is going to be Chris Edwards. From left to right, it's going to be Steven Melia. And they had a slight change out there. Hayden Olmstead in center and right field is Peter Sankioni. As McKenzie steps in and is set for the pitch. Line up and the pitch inside. One and oh. Ben McKenzie has been a big threat for the Hillers at the top of the lineup. And if he gets on base, Look for a steal or certainly uh, for the Hillers to put him in a situation where he's going to try to advance. Set to deliver. Down low. Three and oh. Hillers getting off a Friday win in Medway. Actually, that game was a Thursday win. It was originally scheduled for Friday, but they moved it up a day due to the rain. And it certainly worked out well, as most games were rained out Friday. 3-1 count. Just what the Hillers wanted there. Ben McKenzie to drop the walk, get on base. Steve Simos heading to the plate. Second baseman steps in. And he was squaring a bunt there, pulled it back, and that is ball one. One and oh count. Flynn working from the stretch. Kenzie with a slight lead off of first. He's taking off. Outside is the pitch for a ball and an easy steal for McKenzie. I have a feeling Ben McKenzie is going to rack up a lot of stolen bases this season. Two zero count on Simos, runner in scoring position for the Hillers. That's down low in the dirt. McKenzie's taking off, and he will advance to third. Well pitched there, and the catcher Giovanni lost it for a moment. Line up and the pitch. Down low and Simos draws the walk. Runners on first and third for the Hillers. No outs. Tommy Ambersoni heading to the plate. Ambersoni steps in. 
Upstairs, one and O. Oh. Flynn a little wild to start this one off for Millis. Simos with a slight lead at first. Flynn's set to deliver. Simos taking off. And there's a strike, and we won't even get a throw. Simos credited with the stolen base. Runners on second and third. No outs. One and one on Ambersoni. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is up the first base side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will not throw home, and Ben McKenzie will score. So a sacrifice, three unassisted ground out, and an RBI for Tommy Ambersoni. one nothing Hillers, and that'll bring up Drew Rancatori, the left fielder. Simos moves up to third. Line up in the pitch. Just inside. Flynn from the stretch. There's a strike, one and one. Flynn set to deliver. In the dirt, nice cover up by Giovanni, two and one. Believe it or not, we're already at the mid-season week of the spring sports season. Some big games this week for the Hillers as this is hit in the air to right field, it'll fall in. Simos comes around to score, it's an RBI single for Drew Rancatori. 2-0 Hillers with one out still. And Connor Kelly, the DH, will step in. Good piece of hitting there from Rankatori. Flynn deals, runner taking off from first, pitches low. We will get a throw up, but it is going to be a stolen base for Rankatori. One old pitch incoming to Kelly. And he gets a piece of this one to center field. It goes way back towards the fence, and that'll drop in. One run is in to score. Here comes another. It's going to be a 4 nothing lead for the Hillers, a two-RBI double for Connor Kelly. He absolutely tattooed that ball. Or excuse me, Rankatori was the only run to score there. It's 3 nothing Hillers. And that'll bring up Alex Barker Hook. It's a one RBI double. My apologies. And the first baseman will step in. And this is up the middle and bobbled by the shortstop. Connor Kelly up to third. So Barker Hook reaches on the error. And that'll bring up Cam Jarrett, the right fielder. 3 nothing lead for the Hillers. And Hopkinton threatening to add on here in the bottom of the first. Flynn from the stretch, upstairs. Runners on first and third, one out. Fouled away. One and one count. And a breaking pitch up the left side, it goes foul. One and two on Jarrett. So just to recap, 
McKenzie and Simos both walk to start off the inning, and then a sacrifice RBI ground out by Tommy Ambersoni. And then an RBI base hit by uh, Rankatori. And then Rankatori was driven in from Connor Kelly. That pitch will get by the catcher, but Kelly will stay at third. Two two count on Jarrett. That's outside, gets by the catcher. Another run going to try to score. The throw is going to get away from the pitcher. And now it's four to nothing, Hillers. Connor Kelly comes around on the wild pitch. Up to third is Alex Barker Hook. Now we'll have a conference on the mound. It is still a full count to Cam Jarrett. Well, great start for the Hillers today. Hitters feeling it off of Ryan Flynn. Connor Kelly with a near home run to center field. That was pretty close to the fence. He almost went to third, but it was a pretty good throw in by Edwards out of center field. And we'll see what the leash is here with Ryan Flynn with already four runs in for the Hillers. I'm hearing some cheering off in the distance down at the softball game, so hopefully that means some good things for the Hillers softball team, who's also in action against Millis right now. And this is up the right side. That'll get through the gap. Here comes another run, and it's 5 to nothing, Hillers. An RBI single for Jarrett. Alex Barker-Hook comes around to score, and that'll bring up Brian Kester, the third baseman. A first inning rally for Hopkinton. Upstairs. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, two and oh. Five runs on three hits in the inning so far for the Hillers. In there for a strike. Couple walks and a reach on an error also in the inning for Hopkinton. 2-1 pitch now to Kester. Inside and high, three and one. Ronnie Sheamus to up next. Down low, and Kester draws the walk. Two on, one out. Jarrett up to second. Sheamus will step in. The Hillers have batted around here in the bottom of the first. Both runners with a pretty significant lead. Down low, good cover up by Giovanni. He's been... Hard at work behind the plate so far in this first. Line up in the pitch. In there for a strike. Flynn from the stretch. There's a called strike, one and two. Ben McKenzie do up next. One out in the inning, five runs in for the Hillers. Down low. Two and two. Flynn deals, and this is ripped into left field. That'll get down 
for a hit. Jarrett is going to be stopped at third. It'll be bases loaded with one out for the Hillers and Ben McKenzie coming to the plate. Rally time for Hopkinton here in the first. My scorebook's already getting a little messy. Ben McKenzie walked and scored a run so far in this inning. Chance to do even more damage here. Nice breaking pitch in there for a strike. Oh and one. Inside, one and one. Another breaking pitch there from Giovanni. No warm-up action yet for Millis. Two and one on McKenzie. Outside, that gets away from the catcher, but it took a big bounce off the brick wall behind home plate right back to him, so all the runners stay put. Three and one, however. Mackenzie walks here, a run will score. Bases loaded, one out, five runs already in for the Hillers. Down low, and he draws the walk, and a run's going to come around to score. Six nothing, Hillers. Cam Jarrett comes around. Kester up to third, Seamus up to second, Steve Simos to the plate. But the last guy you want to see if you're Ryan Flynn right now. Still only one out in the inning. Well, the Hillers' bats keep hitting like they have so far today. Could be a long day for Flynn. Outside, 1 and 0. Oh. Simos walked his last time up and has scored a run. Fouled away. A foul tip there, one and one. And Millis thought maybe that was fair. But I do not believe that is the case. We are going to have a discussion between the umpires, but that looked like a foul ball to me. And we do have the confirmed foul ball call. Miller's coach not happy, but I don't think there's any doubt about that one. That looked like a hit to the right of the line. And we'll have some uh, continuing words between the Miller's coach and the umpire. Willis led by head coach Mike Carter. One one on Simos. Flynn set to deal. Simos crushes this one over to right field, and it is caught, but the runner from third is going to tag, and it'll be a sacrifice RBI for S Simos. I'll bring up Tommy Ambersoni. Seamus... Sheamus up to third. McKenzie stays put at first. Seven nothing Hillers. Amber Sony steps in. Outside. Runner taking off from first. And we won't get a throw. We get a cold strike. One and one. Already the second stolen base of the game for Ben McKenzie. Yeah. 
Low and outside, two and one. Drew Rankatori, the cleanup hitter, due up next. Swing and a miss, two and two. Might have been the best fastball we've seen from Giovanni all day so far. And he'll get a piece of this one. Slow roller up the infield grass, picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first in time, six to three on the out. But the Hillers rally, they played seven runs in the first, and it's seven nothing Hopkinton as we head to the top of the second on H Camp. Top of the second inning, a 7-0 lead for the Hillers, 4-5 and 6. Due up for Millis, Michael Giovanni, Thomas Hill, Brian Nichols. Tyler Doherty out there for another inning of work. And he steps in, he's set to go. Wind up in the pitch from Doherty, that's fouled off. Well, you wonder... With such a long bottom of the first, how Tyler Doherty is going to react to the second inning. He had a long rest between innings due to the Hillers seven run rally. And this is a slow roller up the left side. Takes a little hop, but picked up by Kester. Throw to first, got him. What a nice play by Kester. Five to three for out number one. That'll bring up Thomas Hill, the DH. DH steps in. Well, so far, the infielder is getting a whole lot of action for the Hillers. And a ground out to the second baseman, ground out to the shortstop in the first inning, and now third baseman getting in on the fun. Oh, and one count on Hill. Tyler Doherty deals. This is hit high in the air to the left side. Foul territory. Can anyone catch it? Yeah, I'm not sure. It was out of our uh, sight line. But it, it does appear someone caught it. So that's out number two because Brian Nichols is stepping in. Two away. Nichols, the first baseman, steps in. So a nice job by Rankatori hunting that one down. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Doherty set to deal. Swing and a miss, nice pitch, 0 oh and 2. A lot of Hiller's sports action this week you can catch on our YouTube live stream. Hillers girls across on Thursday against North Attleboro and Hillers softball on Friday against Norwood. That pitch inside. One and two. Both games, 345 starts. Line up and the pitch. Foul tip. One and two remains the count. Two outs in the inning for Millis. Leg left and the pitch. Up the left side, takes a couple hops, picked up by Kester. Throw to first, not a problem, making it look easy. One, two, three, they go in the top of the second. A 7 nothing lead for the Hillers as we head to the bottom of the second on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Bottom of the second, a 7-0 lead for the Hillers. 4-5 and 6 do up. Drew Rankatori, Connor Kelly, and Alex Barker Hook to face the new pitcher for the Millis Mohawks. It's Brian Nicholas who moves over from second base and takes over on the mound for Ryan Flynn. Ryan Flynn is now the new second baseman. Brian Nichols, the new pitcher for Millis. Rough uh, start to the game. 
for Flynn, so they'll get Nichols out there. Jeranka Torrey had a nice RBI single in the first inning. That scored Steve Simos to make it a 2-0 game at the time. Naylor is hoping to continue the rally. Line up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one to right field. It goes to the fence. And that is going to be a ground ruled double. It took a hop over the fence. So a ground ruled double for Drew Rankatori. And that'll bring up Connor Kelly. That certainly uh, was close to being a homer there. Good power by Rankatori. Man, he can crush the ball when he wants to. Connor Kelly will step in. He had a huge hit in the first inning. Powered it all the way towards the center field fence. That scored the uh, third run of the game. Rankatori came in. One and oh. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. No outs for the Hillers, runner on second. Seven nothing lead for Hopkinton. Inside. Uh, Hiller's offense has been tremendous throughout mu most of the season, but last week, between the 15-11 loss to Millis and the 12-4 win over Medway, they put up 23 runs. That's a lot of hitting. Three and one is the count now. What's going to be the obstacle for the Hillers, I think, is getting the stability for pitching. As this is hit in the air to left field, could be trouble, it's caught. And they'll be one away, going all the way back to second base is Rankatori. He was almost at third. They'll bring up Alex Barker Hook. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you for Hiller's baseball on this nice Monday. With rain expected uh, throughout much of the week. It's good the Hillers are getting in this game on this nice Monday. There's a strike. Oh, and one on Barker Hook. He reached on an error in the first inning and scored a run. Check swing. Did he hold? Yes, he did. One and one. Set to deliver. And he gets a piece of this one over to center field. It goes. See you later. Home run. Alex Barker hook goes yard. It's 9-0 Hillers. Powered that ball right into the parking lot. Unfortunately, I don't think it hit any cars. What a. Home run that was by Alex Barker Hook. Absolutely crushed it. Cam Jarrett will step in. It's almost looking like a home run derby for the Hillers today. They are just crushing the ball. Jarrett had a single in the first inning as well and scored a run. That pitch inside. The two-run homer by Alex Barker Hook also scored Drew Rankatori, who reached on a ground rule double to start off the inning. One and one the count. Outside. Oh, strike two. Strike one rather. They get him for the strike. That yeah, was close. Might have just edged the corner of the plate there. Upstairs. Work 
Lineup and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. Caught. And that is going to be out number two. Edwards was there. That'll bring up Ryan Kester. Ryan Kester walked last inning and scored the seventh run of the inning. A 9 nothing lead for the Hillers. Two-run homer by Alex Barker Hook to add on. There's a strike. Nice pitch on the inner corner. Brian Nichols, the second pitcher of the game for the Mohawks. Inside. And this is hit foul out of play. Yo, two. And he'll hit this one sky high. The second baseman ranges back, makes the catch. Out number three, after two innings of play, it's Hopkinton nine, Millis nothing. You are tuned in to Hillers Baseball and H Camp. New pitcher for the Hopkinton Hillers, Brendan Kelly is out there to start off the top of the third. Tyler Darty pitched a very solid two innings to start off this game. But Brendan Kelly will take over. And the Hillers, they have a lot of games coming up, so I think what they're trying to do is kind of pitch by a committee here and rest some of their key starters for the week ahead. So Brandon Kelly is out there to get some work in, the windup and the pitch. This hit in the air, foul out of play. Oh and one, Joseph Johnson, the right fielder, is the hitter. Chris Edwards, the third baseman, batting eighth. And Charlie Glask, the catcher, will hit ninth. And he'll get a piece of this one foul. There's a ball. One and one. One two pitch, rather, outside. No, they get him with the strike. One away. I'll bring up Chris Edwards, the center fielder. There's a strike. No. Thanks, man. See you later. Fouled away. One's fisted foul. Oh, and two the count. Down low, one and two. That one is going to get away from the catcher, but it'll throw up to first, no problem. Out number two. I'll bring up Charlie Kalask, the shortstop. Charlie Kalask, the 
Curly Cor Corsac, rather. And this is hit in the air to center field and ranging a little to his left to make the catch is Tommy Ambersoni. One, two, three, they go. To the bottom of the third we go. The Hailers leading Millis nine to nothing on each cam. Bottom of the third inning, a new hitter for the Hillers. Stepping in is going to be Bobby McGuire coming in the game for Ronnie Sheamus. He'll pinch it here and perhaps take over at catcher as well. 9-0 lead for the Hillers, so it's a good opportunity to give everybody some playing time. Line up and the pitch. In there for a strike. Brian Nichols continues the work on the mound for Millis. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Set to deliver is Nichols. That one low. Three and one. Just high. And McGuire draws the walk. That'll bring up Ben McKenzie. And McKenzie, one for two today, also has a walk and a run score. Checking at first, runner slides back safe, as well as an RBI. Nichols working from the stretch. Down low. Checking at first, runner back safe. Ooh, inside, that hit him. Two on, no outs. Steve, and now we're gonna have a pinch hitter for Steve Simos. This is going to be Chase Doherty. Chase Doherty in to hit for the Hillers. Outside, 1 and 0. Oh. Well, I'd expect the Hillers in this game to empty out their bench, get everybody some good playing time. You got a very comfortable lead. And a chance to score more runs with no outs and two on here in the bottom of the third. Lined up and the pitch. Fouled into the backstop. Two and one. We're going to have a pinch runner for Ben McKenzie. Pinch runner is going to be Ethan DeYoung. In there to pinch run. Lined up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Fouled away.
Nichols set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Out number one. I'll bring up Tommy Ambersoni. Center fielder. He's 0-4-1 today with a sacrifice RBI back in the first. And the lefty awaits the pitch. Down low. One zero pitch outside. Briefly got away from the catcher, but he'll hunt it down. Nine nothing. Hillers leading here in the bottom of the third. Two on, one out. Coach Simos has been emptying the bench in this inning. Down low. Three balls, no strikes. There's strike one, three and one. Do up next is Drew Rankatori. Down low, he draws the walk. Bases loaded, one out for the Hillers. Ethan DeYoung up to second, Bobby McGuire to third. Tommy Embersoni to first, Drew Rankatori to the plate. The left fielder is 2-4-2 two two today. Two runs scored and an RBI. Nice breaking pitch for strike one. Upstairs. One and one. Set to deliver. Down low. Two and one. Connor Kelly do up next. Bases loaded, one out. 9 nothing lead for the Hillers, trying to add on. And there for a strike, two and two. Nichols from the stretch. Inside, full count. Walk here would score a run. And he will foul this one away. Heads up, everybody. Went towards the back bleachers and fortunately landed just to the left of them. A little souvenir for the fans. Full count. And this is ripped foul. I went over to the bleachers for the football field. This game over an hour old, still in the bottom of the third. Seven run first inning for the Hillers, two more in the second. And more perhaps here, and this is over to first base. And he'll step on the bag for one, but the job is done. A run will score. Sacrifice RBI, three unassisted ground out for Rankatori. And McGuire came around. DeYoung up to third. Ambersoni 
Over to second, and that'll bring up Connor Kelly with two outs, two on. 10 nothing lead for the Hillers. Outside. One zero pitch, and there for a strike. One and one. Kelly one four two today had an RBI double in the first and scored a run. Swing and a miss. A one two. Breaking pitch fouled away. He'll stay alive. Alex Barker hooked due up. Shall Connor Kelly reach? Barker hook had a two run home run in the bottom of the second. Inside. Two and two. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right field. It goes. That's going to drop in for a hit. One run is in. And here comes another run behind him. It's 12 0 Hillers. A two RBI single for Connor Kelly. The Hillers continuing to rack on runs. Now leading 12 0 here in the bottom of the third. Alex Parker Hook will step in. Check it at first, runner back safe. Good piece of hitting there by Connor Kelly. Nichols deals and he'll plunk the hitter. Barker Hook takes one for the team there. Kelly up to second, Barker Hook to first, Cam Jarrett to the plate. Nichols deals down low. We're going to have a change at first base coach for the Hillers. There's Ryan Kester taking over for Robbie Pag Paliuka at first base. That pitch outside. Nichols set to deal. Looks at second and delivers. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field towards the fence and caught by the center fielder for the third out of the inning to retire the side. But the Hillers plate three runs and they lead it 12 to nothing as we head to the fourth on H Camp. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by. Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Top of the fourth inning, some changes for the Hillers. Cole Glassburn is the new pitcher, third pitcher of the game 
for Hopkinton. And taking over for Steve Simos at second base is Chase Doherty. Ethan DeYoung will take over at shortstop for Ben McKenzie. So the Hiller is emptying out the bench. And it's a good opportunity to give some experience to some of your bench players. Two up is the leadoff hitter, left fielder Steven Melia, followed by right fielder Peter Sanchione and first baseman Hayden Olmstead for Millis. 12-0 lead for Hopkinton as we start off this top half of the fourth inning. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to left center and caught. Out number one, Amber Sony there to make the catch. That'll bring up Peter Sanchione. Cole Glasper and pitched against Westwood the other day. Came out there for a couple innings. And what was a 15 to 11 battle. And this is hit high in the air. Over to left field. And ranging to his right is Ethan DeYoung to make the catch. Two away. Nice job by the shortstop. That will bring up Hayden Olmstead. Ethan DeYoung, a junior. Ball one. Ball two. Ian Olmstead, a senior for the Mohawks. And he'll put this one up the middle. Takes a couple hops. Glove by the second baseman. Nice play. Throw to first. And it pulled the first baseman off the bag. Well, that was a nice effort by Chase Doherty, and he almost was able to make that play, and that's just a tough play to make. I'm giving Olmstead the single on that one. Michael Giovanni will step in. Two outs, one on for the Mohawks. Here comes the catcher. There's a strike. Glassburn set to deliver. And that is ball one. Glassburn with the 1-1. One, one. And this is up the middle. That was ripped up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit that trickles into center field. Two on, two outs. Thomas Hill will step in. Third baseman Thomas Hill has flown out so far today. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field and caught by Ambrosoni for out number three. Nicely done by Ambrosoni. Despite Millis getting two hits in the inning, it remains a 12-0 Hillers lead as we head to the bottom of the fourth on H cam. Bottom of the fourth inning, a new pitcher for the Millis Mohawks. Joe Johnson in there to pitch. He was the... DH to start off the game, and now he'll take over pitching duties for Brian Nichols, the third pitcher of the game for the Mohawks. Stepping in to hit for the Hillers is going to be Robbie Paliuka. This will be his first plate appearance of the game. Paliuka, Bobby McGuire, and Ethan DeYoung do up. That's fouled away. Oh, and one. 
Killers up 12 0 here in the bottom of the fourth. Up high. One and one. Upstairs, two and one. Three and one. Well, this is going to be one of those games where you see both coaches clearing out their bench, giving everybody some experience. Big lead for the Hillers. Good opportunity to do that. This is hit in the air over to left field and caught. One away. I'll bring up Bobby McGuire. This will be his second plate appearance. He walked last inning and scored a run as part of a three run inning. There's a ball up high, one and oh. Johnston from the, the stretch position, now set to deliver. There's a strike. One and one count. Outside, two and one. Tom Mappy, happy to be with you for Hillers Baseball on this Monday afternoon. Bob Hamilton on camera. Play left hand the pitch, swing and a miss. Two and two. Bobby McGuire took over for Ronnie Sheamus behind the plate. He got some experience last year at the varsity level as well. It's mainly on the JV team, but got a couple call-ups during the season. And he'll get a little piece of this one, and it'll drop in front of the second baseman, picked up, throw to first, and they got him two away. That'll bring up Ethan DeYoung. Ethan DeYoung, a junior, came in the game to take over for Ben McKenzie at shortstop. There's a strike. Chase Doherty do up next. Shell the young reach. The 0 1. Fouled away. 0 and 2. And that is behind the hitter, one and two. Trying a little submarine action there, it looks like. Leg lift and the pitch. There's strike three, and out number three in the bottom of the fourth. To the top of the fifth we go, the Hillers leading Millis 12 to nothing on HCAM. Top of the fifth inning, fourth pitcher of the game for the Hopkinton Hillers. Jack Breslin is in there. And due up for Millis. Second baseman Billy Nichols, D.H. Joseph Johnson, center fielder Chris Edwards. Five or six, seven, and eight hitters. The Hillers do have the 12 0 lead here in the top of the fifth, so if they're able to hold Millis scoreless, we'll uh, see if the mercy rules go into effect. But sometimes the coaches decide to play on, so. We'll see what happens. That's fouled away, 0 and 1. 
The Hillers have cleared out the bench really throughout the course of this game, getting everybody in there, getting them some good playing time. Good thing about a situation like this, when you have a lot of tough games coming up, get your players some good rest, but just a little bit of experience to get them warmed up for the week. Got Medfield on the road on Wednesday, and then on Friday you got Norwood. So a whole lot of baseball coming up for this Hillers team. Breslin deals up high. One and two. Shakes off the sign and is set to deal. And this is ripped over to center field, and what a catch! Great catch by Tommy Ambrosoni, one away. He came to a dive to pull that one in. Now bring up Joseph Johnson. Certainly a defensive play of the day candidate. Fouled away into the backstop, 0 and 1. That was a nice pitch there by Breslin, some good velocity on it. Breslin deals. Strike two. Just outside, one and two. Chris Edwards do up next for Millis. Two and two. And this is up the middle, takes a couple hops, and it's going to get through the shortstop. So Johnson will reach. That would have been a tough play to make. So I guess we'll give it the hit for now. But Chris Edwards is going to step in, one out, one on. Well, the young just couldn't get the glove down on that one. Check it at first. Nope, he'll hold. Runner goes back. That was a smart job there by uh, Bobby McGuire. No one was covering first base bag, so he realized that and held the baseball. Down low. This is up the left side, gloved by the third baseman, throw to second for one, and that's all they'll get. No, they they do get him, so he held on to the ball just long enough to tag the second base bag to get the force out, but then on the exchange to his throwing hand, he bobbled it and dropped it, but there is two outs. So that is a five to four force out, and now Charlie Carrask will step in. Runner taking off from first, and he will have the easy steal. Runner on second, two outs for Millis. Upstairs. Outside. And this is ripped into left field. It'll get down. Lead runner being waved around. The throw in is cut off by Kester, and it's 12 to 1. An RBI single for Korask. 
And that'll bring up Steven Melia. Breslin deals. Down low, runner taking off from first. He'll have the easy steal, no throw. Hillers do have some warm up action in case Breslin runs into struggles. Swing and a miss. There's a strike. Time call by the hitter. Breslin deals. This is up the left side. And it's picked up by the shortstop, but he's unable to make a play. And everybody's safe. I'm going to have to give that an error there. There should have been a throw. Runners on first and third. Peter Sanchione will step in. I don't know if he couldn't get a firm grasp on the ball or what, but he's got to try to make that out. Bunt pulled back. There's a strike. Breaking pitch up high. Runner taking off. We'll get a throw this time, but it's off the mark. And now a run's going to score. 12 to 2. Well, he fell for it. Well, somehow Millis works her way back into this game. He'll certainly have to question some of the moves out there. Line up in the pitch. This is hit in the air over to center field, and it's caught for the third out. Two run score for Millis. We play on to the bottom of the fifth, a 12 2 lead for the Hillers on H Cam. Bottom of the fifth inning, a 12 2 lead for the Hillers. Chase Doherty will step in. Joe Johnston remains the pitcher for Millis. We have a Hiller softball update. Hiller softball defeated Millis five to nothing. Big thanks to Larry Sacklad for sending that update along. Line up and the pitch. And Doherty gets a piece of this one over to left field. It goes, and that looks like it could be trouble, and it is. That is going to get down. No, it was caught. All right. Well, he's uh, marching his way up to second. Of course, it's out of our sight line, but it was caught. So certainly a nice catch by Amelia. And now Tommy Ebersoni will step in. One away. We do have a pinch hitter for the Hillers. Josh Fisher is the hitter. And he'll take a strike. Outside. One and one on Fisher. First plate appearance of the game. He deals. Swing and a miss. Swing, 
Leg lift and the pitch. Fouled away. One and two. This Thursday we'll have Hiller's girls across against North Attleboro, 345 game, and then Hiller's softball on Friday against Norwood. Norwood undefeated up to this point. One and one count on Fisher. Excuse me, two and two count on Fisher. The two two. Outside. One out in the inning for the Hillers. Drew Rankatori due up next. Strike three, got him looking, two away. Drew Rankatori will step in. Connor Kelly, do up shell, rank a Tory reach. And he'll get a piece of this one, foul. Oh, and one. Strike two. One and two on Rankatori. That's fouled away. Is it catchable? No. Joe Johnston has come into this game and settled it down a little bit for Millis. Was able to pitch a 1-2-3 inning last inning and hoping to do the same here in this fifth. 10 run lead for the Hillers. This is up the first base side, slow roller picked up by the first baseman. Three unassisted ground out. We'll head to the top half of the sixth. A 12-2 lead for the Hillers on H camp. Top of the sixth inning, fifth pitcher of the game for the Hillers. Pat Breton is in, taking over on the mound. Two up for the Mohawks, three, four, and five. Hayden Olmstead, Michael Giovanni, and Thomas Hill. 12 to two lead for the Hillers. Olmstead is one for two so far today. Swing and a miss there. Breton set to deliver. Up the first base side, that's a fair ball. Olmstead heading over to first. And it is going to be picked up in right field. Olmstead will stay put at first base with the single. Now the cleanup hitter, Michael Giovanni, will step in. Millis down to their final six outs here. Hoping to get a rally going. Oh, and one. Giovanni, one for two today. Upstairs. Runner with a lead at first. Here's the one one. Fouled away, one and two. Nice velocity there by Breton. Oh. 
One two pitch upstairs. The two two. Fouled away. Down low, full count. And this is up the middle, takes a couple hops on the grass, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, got him. Great play by Kester. Five to three on the out. Olmstead advances to second. Thomas Hill will step in. Bobby. Hill is 0 for 2 so far today. One on, one out. No movement, no movement. Down low. Two and one is the count. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Brian Nichols do up next for Millis. Pat Breton from the stretch looks at second and is set to deliver. And this is ripped up the middle. That'll get into left field. Olmstead's going to be held up at third. A single for Hill. Two on, one out. And that'll bring up Brian Nichols, the second baseman. Well, the Hillers are on their fifth pitcher of the game. You wonder who's left if Breton runs into trouble. Obviously still a little early to think about that, but never know. Runner slides back safe. Slate lead for Hill at first, and he's taking off. McGuire throws up to second, and it'll pull the second baseman off the bag, so a stolen base for Hill. Olmstead stays put at third base. Runners on second and third. Pretty good, th pretty good throw up by McGuire. One and O is the count. Leg lift and the pitch. Outside. 2 and 0 oh on Nichols. Fouled away. 2 and 1. Breton shakes off the first sign and now is set to deal. Checking at second. Ooh, runner just safe. Almost caught him. There's a strike. Two and two. If you're 
Breton. You should just be trying to throw strikes out there. Let your outfielders do the work. Checking at second. Almost got him again, but he's safe. Time call by the hitter. Outside. Full count now. Did he go? No. And a walk is drawn. Base is loaded. One out. Millis has something brewing here. I'll bring up Joseph Johnson. Actually, we're going to have a, uh, it will be Joseph Johnson still at DH. We're actually, he took over as the pitcher the last couple innings. So Millis lost the DH. Outside, 1 and 0. Oh. So far, he struck out and reached on an error. Bases full of Mohawks, 1 out. Up high, two and oh. Breton struggling a little bit out there on the mound. Outside, three and oh. Could he walk in a run here? There's a strike. Three and one. Swing and a miss, full count. Late swing decision there by Joseph. Breton battles back. In the dirt, gets away from the catcher. The walk is drawn, a run comes in to score. Nichols up to second, Hill up to third. Olmstead around to score. It's a 12 to three game. Chris Edwards will step in. Well, just when you thought you might escape with an easy win for the Hillers. Millis, a bit of a rally here in the sixth inning. Breton deals, strike one. Up the left side, picked up by Kester, throw to second for the force out, and throw to first, not in time, a run scores. So job well done there by Edwards. Sacrifice RBI. And he is aboard at first with the force out. Hill came around to score. Up to third is Nichols. I'll bring up Karask. Checking out first, runner back. 12 to four lead for the Hillers here in the top of the sixth. Karask at the plate. And this is up the middle and it's picked up by the second baseman. He drops it, everybody's safe, a run scores. Throw to third, he's safe. 12 to five. An error there, big error by the second baseman.
So Edwards is all the way up to third. Carrasco board. And we have ourselves a bit of a ball game here. Steven Melia stepping in, the leadoff hitter. Up the left side and picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first. And he got him. Five to three for the third out. But the Mohawks, they plate a couple runs in that inning. They plate three runs, and they make it a 12-5 game as we head to the bottom of the sixth on each cam. Bottom of the sixth inning. Five, six, and seven do up for the Hillers. Connor Kelly, Alex Barker Hook, and Cam Jarrett. Tom Nappy on the call for Hillers baseball. Bob Hamilton on camera. Larry Sacklad at home watching today. Certainly wishing him a good recovery as Kelly takes ball one, one and oh. Joe Johnson remains in the game for Millis. Line up and the pitch. In there for a strike, one and one. Well, the Hillers, they took the lead early on in this game. They had a seven-run first inning, added two more in the second, three more in the third, to make it a 12-0 game at the time. And then the bench was emptied. And Coach Simos getting some of the younger guys in there to get them some experience. And these are the kinds of games that you do that when you get that big early lead. Line up and the pitch. Up the middle, off the mound it goes, into center field it goes. A single for Kelly. That'll bring up Alex Barker Hook, who has had himself quite a day at the plate. Had a two run homer in the second. And then also a hit in the third. Reached on an error and scored a run in the first. Checking at first, runner back safe. Some of the Hillers softball team members down here. Taking in the action from their baseball counterparts. Johnston set to deal. Down low, gets away from the catcher, an easy advance for Connor Kelly. Kelly over at second now with no outs. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Johnston looks at second and deals. And this is hit high in the air. And that's going to stay along the infield. Caught by the second baseman, one away. I'll bring up Cam Jarrett, who is one for three today. Singled and scored a run back in the first. There's strike one. The 0 1. Strike two. Good breaking pitch there by Johnston. Well, with the way Johnston has pitched since he's been in there, I wonder if it could have been a different game if uh, he got the start. Swing and a miss. So, number two. Ryan Kester will step in. Back in the game. Or Rab Robbie Paliuka. Right. 
There's a ball. A 1 0. Up high. Nope. Strike one. Lead straight call there. One and one. Down low, gets away from the catcher, and the runner will advance up to third. Second wild pitch advance for Connor Kelly. Bobby McGuire do up next, shall Kester reach. Breaking pitch outside. Three and one. Johnson from the stretch. Strike two, full count. Swing and a miss. Out number three to the top of the seventh we go. The Hiller is leading Millis 12 to five on HCAM. Top of the seventh inning, Millis down to their final three outs. A 12 to five Hiller's lead. And we have the sixth pitcher of the day for the Hopkinton Hillers. Connor Kelly is in there to try to close things out. Two, three, and four due up for Millis. Peter Sanchione, Hayden Olmstead, and Michael Giovanni. Bobby McGuire with some words of encouragement for Connor Kelly as we are set to get the top of the seventh started. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. There's a bunt. Foul, 0-2. Hillers 6-2 on the season, hoping to get their seventh win here today. I hit the ump on there, on that, so hopefully he's okay. If this score holds, Millis would fall to 2-4. Sankioni 0 4 3 so far today. Kelly deals. Nice breaking pitch. Out number one. That'll bring up Hayden Olmstead. Connor Kelly was the DH today for the Hillers. Now. Taking over as the closer. Outside, 1 0 to Hayden Olmstead. Olmstead, 2 for 3 today. A pair of singles and a run scored. Swing and a miss. 1 and 1. Kelly delivers. Nice breaking pitch. One and two. And this is going to be foul. Well, your player of the game is Alex Barker Hook. He went one for three at the plate. Or one for four at the plate, rather. Make that actually two for four at the plate, excuse me. Two for four at the plate. Reached on an error and had a two RBI home run and a single. 
Also scored two runs. Alex Barker Hook, your player of the game. And pitch down low. Two two pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number two. Michael Giovanni will step in. Kelly deals, ball one. Hiller is one out away from grabbing their seventh win of the season and improving a 70 and two overall. Swing and a miss. One and one. Up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first. Got him, five to three for out number three. And the Hopkinton Hillers grab the 12 to five win over the Millis Mohawks. The Hillers are now seven and two on the season. Millis falls to two and four. A nice team win by the Hopkinton Hillers here on this Monday afternoon. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time. Hopkinton takes down Millis 12-5. to 5. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.